Every parent wants the best for their child and there's no exception when it comes to safety whilst travelling. So it's important to make sure that you have your child in the right restraint at the right time. The law requires that infants up to six months of age be restrained in an approved rearward facing restraint and be in the rear row where the vehicle has two or more rows of seats. When choosing a rearward facing infant restraint, there are a few options for parents and caregivers to consider, including a dedicated rearward facing restraint, such as a baby safety capsule or a travel system, or a convertible child safety seat. RAA recommends the baby safety capsule as the best choice for the first six months. The capsule has consistently tested as one of the safest restraints for newborns over a number of years. It has a small harness that relates much better to the small shoulders of a newborn baby. It is easy to use and compatible with most vehicles. There is also the convenience of being able to remove the bassinet from the base without waking the baby. When choosing a rearward facing restraint, look for a good harness fit, make sure it fits into your vehicle and it's easy to use. In the case of a child's safety seat, look for one that will accommodate your child up to 12 months of age rearward facing. Some restraints are rated by weight, while others are made to the new standard featuring shoulder height markers. In this capsule, which is made to the old standard, you would use this restraint up until the child reached the weight of 9 kilos or 70 centimetres in length, whichever happens first. In this capsule, which is made to the new standard, use the capsule until the child's shoulders reach the top shoulder height marker. To install a baby safety capsule, place the base on the vehicle seat and feed the seat belt through like so. Make sure there are no twists. Do up the seat belt. Push way into the base while removing all slack from the seat belt. Where possible, lock in the seat belt to maintain firmness of the installation. Automatic locking seat belts can be locked like this. Inertia reel seat belts can be locked like this. Adjust the harness so it sits level with or just above the child's shoulders. Adjust the crotch buckle to suit the child. Place the baby in the bassinet. Do up the harness, making sure there are no twists in the straps. Adjust the harness so it is firm on the baby. Attach the upper tether to the anchorage point. If you are unsure about the location of the anchorage points, check the vehicle's manual. If the strap is not long enough to reach, an extension strap will need to be added. Place the bassinet in the base. Attach the two pieces of the upper tether and remove all slack from the upper tether strap. Be sure not to over tighten. If the capsule is lifted off the vehicle seat, then loosen off. Finally, make sure there is a gap between the capsule and the front seats. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions and if you have any questions about the installation, contact RAA's Safety Centre for advice.